now you can fight mighty battles with Triaxe and the Virox army! Recently, the minor battle skirmishes between these two countries erupted in full-scale war. Hundreds of land and air combat vehicles battled across the land. With their huge fighting machines, they staged the most massive battles ever! The largest armies in the world are in your hand. Take command! Megaforce, brought to you by Kenner. Subassembly required. Vehicles, separately. Welcome back to yet another Plasticon review. Today we're going to cover more Megaforce VTOL style. Yes, this is the VTOL team for the tracks. It comes in a pack of three when you purchase these. Now there is a little bitty plastic base, which is a uh, little landing platform. This is the little VTOL set that you get. You get these three little die cast vehicles, which are highly detailed. And then you also get the little plastic base that they sit on, which is literally one plastic base for one of them to sit on, which is kind of silly. I always thought they should have came with multiples, but that's just me. This is the base to it. The base to this is very detailed. You can tell. It's got little vents here. It's got a little gunner here, gunner here. And then this right here is supposed to just be a kind of like a support ramp because the support ramp is supposed to allow you to take your little VTOL and stick it on here and be like, okay, we're ready to launch. And what we do is we launch off like this. It takes off just like so. Let's go ahead and check out one of the little support soldier wingman type of vehicle. As you guys can tell, this thing is a very, very, almost a World War II late end, like really, really late into World War II or kind of a, a Korean War vibe to it. If you look at the detail of just like the way the jet is sloped, the way everything is designed, it has a very, very, very kind of retro, almost steampunky, almost not really steampunky, but futuristic kind of thing. Now, a lot of you guys out there that seen you know, the VTOLs that they had in that James Cameron movie that I really don't want to mention to you guys because half you guys hate it. But you know, you, you, you've seen them in that, you know, that, that one little movie called Avatar. Anyway, yeah, that one. You guys saw VTOLs in there, which was kind of interesting because they look more like helicopters. This looks more like a plane, which is really cool. I do like the idea that this thing has a ton of detail. I mean, as much detail that they even went like underneath. I mean, there's just so much detail. Speaking of being underneath the vehicle here, it's got this little post. This little post here, like I was mentioning earlier, with the little friction thing that actually holds the tanks, this will actually hold your airplanes because the post has a little hole that's drilled in the middle that this will actually plug into if you force it down. Now that's the problem with most of them. Most people forced them down and broke a tab off. What you're supposed to do is properly slide it in so that way it actually locks into the center. But most people, when you're 12 years old, or eight or nine, or five or whatever, when you were a kid, didn't really pay attention to that. Anyhow, checking out all the molded detail this thing's got, I mean, you can tell, looking at this thing, this thing's got a ton of rivets. And you guys are like, well, this in here looks all beat up. No, it's not beat up. It actually is a green and gray camo, which is very, very awesome. Although it does have die cast and there's like bits and pieces here that's been kind of scraped off. It still looks like camo, which is very cool. It does have positional VTOL engines, which is kind of nice. And they are plastic. So, I mean, take care when you do turn these things. I wouldn't try to yank them too hard because it is kind of pushed in the middle of a body that was, you know, kind of vacuum bloated, but you're not really going to be able to push these back in whenever that happens and it breaks in half because there's no screw to disconnect it. Now looking at the bottom here, you can tell there is kind of like a little bit of a radar dome right here underneath for like your like navigation and such. And then you'd have like another one here, but this is actually a gun. Looks like a little machine gun right there on the front, which is kind of cool. And I do like the idea that this thing actually has a um, 
actually has a ventilation system here on the back where it looks like it's got rear vents that actually would lift the rear of the vehicle off the ground and go. It's very interesting. I do like the idea that the little support vehicles are completely different. I mean, you can tell. Look at the engine detail this thing has. It's insane. These things are just so awesome. You know, you guys out there that collect your Hot Wheels and your Micro Machines and your Transformers and all your crazy stuff like that, and you guys want to complain about detail. I mean, come on. You cannot go wrong with Megaforce. These guys had it right. Kenner had a decent thing going here. Sadly, the market really did not pick up on these guys, which is kind of bad. I just think it was just a demographic at the th times. But let's move on to the Commander. And here's the Commander. The Commander is a lot different. Well, not a lot different, but slightly. Obviously, it's the same body. It's got a few different markings on it. That's how you can actually tell if somebody tried to piece together one. It's actually got little bitty white markings all over it, even including on the gun. The underside, pretty much about the same. It's slightly different color, but not by a lot. I would say this is a little darker, but it does have a lot of molded detail. And obviously the big thing is seeing the difference in the, gun, in the, uh, the VTOLs. The VTOLs are a lot larger on this one, mainly because this guy is the guy in charge. And something else, these are guns and armaments here on the sides of this thing, like on the tips of this thing. It's very interesting and it's very awesome. So you can act like you got guns coming out the sides and everything else. And you guys out there used to play your, you know, your uh, scroll games like the ones that used to play called Raiden. Yeah. You tell me that doesn't look like something out of Raiden. It's just, it's awesome. Very, very cool. And look at all the rivet detail, guys. You don't get this nowadays. This is just the cream of, like, sculpting and just awesomeness. Because these things are die-cast. These things will last. You can drop this on the ground and it won't hurt it. And these were designed to be played with on the dirt. But, anyhow, let's look at the whole group as a whole. As for the Megaforce Trax VTOL team, I believe these guys are probably one of the coolest. I really enjoy their aesthetic, and I really do like the idea that these things are just straight up die cast. They're heavy duty, they're fun to play with, and they're great little toys just to put on your desk to play with or something to come in like larger city sets or anything like that that you guys have out there. So you guys stay tuned. I will end up having some more stuff coming your guys' way, especially in the line of Mega Force. Ta ta for now!